morning, everybody. Good morning. We are back. Brand new day. We had a wonderful breakfast. start a video it was just too dark so here we are in some road construction thought now would be a perfect time to talk with you guys we did although have a beautiful drive along the way about yesterday. We did actually get to see the moose. Just too. a female. It was the calf and a cow and it was super cool. We got to watch them sleep and eat some plants and drink Trips some water. water. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun to see. And then we got some comfort food. We got some pizza, we had a couple of beers and like I said we were literally pulled over on the side of the highway and just kind of went to bed early and kind of woke up early and just needed a minute. And then last night, I set some traps and I caught that stinking <laughs> mouse. He got me. It's a little bit sad. I was sad. But... Yeah, it's not cool, but it's also not cool to shit all over in my bus. So the mouse had to go. Now we are literally in the middle of Wyoming. And if I show you really quickly, this guy has binoculars and he's actually looking for life. Where we are. He's looking for other people. Why is he in a little actually? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're literally in the middle of nowhere right now. I do see animals. But now he's just checking out some animals and stuff. I think he was probably looking for other human beings. I'm not sure. Um, so with that, today. today Today is road trip day, so we have done and seen everything that we came to see. Um, so now we are headed back towards Denver. And basically we just, I think we're going to take this episode just to kind of show you the reality of Bus road trip. life. Yeah, I mean, it ain't pretty. I mean, it's, it's driving and, and there's a few things that go along with it, of course, but that's what we plan to show you today. So here we go. So as we travel, uh, we also have to continue to run our online nutrition and fitness company. And so Tanya's actually doing a consult right now and we usually try to be stopped so that we're not dealing with reception and so that we're giving our clients the best call that they can have. Um, she's actually talking to a prospective new client right now. And so we are obviously trying to uh, help them take their health back and with living a healthy lifestyle as we preach 
I am actually out right now for a walk to get a little exercise in. As we said earlier, today is a full on travel day. And then uh, Tanya will also get out when she's done with the call because she actually has another one right after that. And we just want to really show exactly how we live and exactly what we do even on some of the more boring days which is our travel days all right so we have now stopped in rock springs wyoming and decided to fill up on fuel and take this time to eat lunch and so dustin is preparing because we did not do that yesterday usually we've been preparing our lunch ahead of time did not get that done so what are you making a wrap. What kind of a wrap? That's a wrap. Uh, little deli meat, little lettuce, little sabra. And we also have some leftover pizza from last night. Ooh, they can't see that. And it was barbecue something. It was freaking amazing. If you ever go to Jackson Hole, you have got to stop at Pinky G's Pizzeria. It is the bomb. So, we had our lunch. We're ready to hit the road, but we promised you we were going to take you on the road trip. So what did the road trip look like behind the scenes? How many days did you wear the same pair of socks? <laughs> Honestly, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days. Okay. And the last time we took a shower was Sunday morning before the event. Mm -hmm. So how have we taken care of ourselves? How have we been taking care of ourselves? First of all, you invest in some wipes. And these are basically what we use in between to keep ourselves with good Fresh. hygiene. Um, and of course, every day we brush our teeth, we use deodorant. Um, some of us change our socks and underwear. Don't judge me. No judgment here. <laughs> when it's freaking cold, I do as little as possible with the best hygiene as possible. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So, but I have all clean clothes. Yeah, on we're both today. like completely cleaned up. I feel fresh, other yeah. than my hair smells like campfire. So yes. Um, so you've probably seen us in the same clothes, mm -hmm. which is fine. Uh, my warm clothes is obviously my sunrise shirt and my black pants, and we're actually getting into warmer weather, so I'm now in a tank top and shorts, but again, we're all in clean clothes. And I've lost the socks. So, they wore off of her. They actually just fell off the socks, did. That uh, is so not true. Not true. <laughs> Why you gotta make me stand out to be the gross one? It's true. Anyways, uh, what did we do for food? So for food, like I mentioned previous, we, and, and I think I showed you in one of our earlier videos, we went to the store, we bought all of our food for the entire week. We still have food. We still have, but we, we are cleaning it up. But we also left last Thursday morning. Yes. But realistically, we went and got groceries Sunday. Okay, we yeah, 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 City, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went and got so, groceries in Ogden. Sunday. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we got groceries for the entire week. We figured out exactly how much we were going to get. And that's just based on, like, we know how much we eat. So we planned for that. And everything we got was stuff that we could... We basically planned on a warm meal for dinner because we were out. We knew we'd be out all day. We kind of knew that the temperature was going to be chilly. I guess I didn't expect it was going to be so cold, <laughs> but it was. Um, and we did a few things with our oatmeal in the morning to warm it up. We warmed milk up, had an accident with that. <laughs> Spilled milk everywhere. <laughs> Turns out milk doesn't boil the same way water does. No. It boils over. <laughs> the cup overfloweth. <laughs> so we didn't do that again. Um, Actually, we did. I okay, just about did, did it the second day too. No lies. <laughs> I did. But anyway, um, so we had all of our food ready plan for the week so we first of all we didn't know what would be around for you know to get groceries um you know there are small little towns within the national park in yellowstone little stores and so you can get whatever you need i'm sure it's probably a little bit more pricey yeah, it's a little more expensive but actually within like 50 miles of yellowstone you might be better off buying it in yellowstone 
Because the places within 50 miles know that it's like the last stop. Mm -hmm. And so they market that. And so like diesel was like 379. And then when you got into the park, it was like 309. Where in Colorado, we might pay like 249. So you're gonna pay a little bit more, but the outside, the little circle knows that people are gonna panic like, oh, we need this and we need that. And so they're gonna spend extra money. So don't do that. Um, so basically the only time we ate out was last night at Jackson Hole and that was not planned. Like nope. we had food, but considering the circumstances, we are human too, even though we you know we preach nutrition and fitness, but we have, we're human. Um, we like comfort food. We like comfort food too. And so we, that was our one time we ate out. So we had pizza, we love pizza, but we still have food left. And today is kind of focused on what we call clean up on aisle nine. I've mentioned that before. And it's where we just basically use up everything that we have. So nothing spoils, nothing goes bad. And we get our money's worth out of our food. Cause I hate throwing food away. Yeah. So we have like a dozen eggs left, some berries, a little bit of milk and some vegetables. Mm -hmm. And if you're curious, wait till I show you what we have for dinner. Yeah. I've already got a plan. Um, so Perfect. with that, where in the heck did you go to the bathroom? Several places. So obviously anytime I could use a actual facility, I would, um, I just feel cleaner that way. But there have been times that I've had to pee in the woods right outside of the road. I have, e I have even shit in the woods. I had to boop. Had to go there was no waiting and so i did the normal i dug a hole and covered it up you know i took care of my business that way it's just not out and i everybody. took pictures of it unfortunately yes he did thank you very much Ding. so anyway boopin'. why is it booping why explain why you call it booping because it's my boo pooping <laughs> oh my god uh. um anyway so yes i not ashamed of it. I, we're human. You know what yeah. I mean? You gotta go, you gotta go. So that's that's how I use the facilities I, in my look, business. What I, do you do? I piss, in a, what you I do. piss in a jug like 99% of the time mm -hmm. and then dump it out. But like again at the state or national parks, mm -hmm. there's a toilet mm -hmm. facility like every five miles. Yeah. So in the national parks and stuff, everything's sweet. We do have a nature set toilet. It's literally in here, but right. it's still in the box. Yeah. We don't have power for it. So that will be the way we go to the bathroom in future trips. Mm -hmm. But for this trip, I peed in a bottle. She peed outside. Peed or outside or and let's talk about the worst bathroom experience I had. Well, let's talk about the most amazing husband you have. Let's not, let's <laughs> not, come on. Okay, so you, you can't just when you're in the campgrounds, like you, you can't just step outside and go pee. Like it's a huge no, no. And for one, there's bears and everything. Right. So I'm having this in the back of my mind. So the last night we stayed in Yellowstone, that the park that we had showed you, if you have not watched that, we'll post that video up here. Um, anyway, it was raining, like pouring outside and I try to wait till like right when I'm ready to go to bed to and go to the super cold so cold so I always wait till I like right before I go to bed to go to the bathroom for the last time and here it is downpouring it and was. we're in a more secluded campground where like you're right kind of in the back country so bears are more prominent pitch black raining freezing cold and I have to walk like a hundred yards it was wild to go to the bathroom and miserable tell him the best part though <laughs> come on so okay so my loving husband here took a trash bag popped a hole in it to put it over my head so i had to walk like this to go to the bathroom well, i didn't want your arms to get wet it was a nice gesture it doesn't seem like you're appreciative of it right now i'm very appreciative anyways that is realistically. That's life. That's this is this is living in a bus. We've swept the floor 180 times. And it's, it looks like we haven't. Yeah, <laughs> this floor used to be white, but yeah, I mean, we've so far stayed at a lake, so there was sand. Then we were in a city, so there was city. <laughs> then we were in mud, mud and rain and sleet 
and snow and ice. And we try to like be really good at taking our shoes off at the entrance because there's that little lip, but it still just Passing miraculously by. just comes into the butt. And then we had a mouse pooping in our bus. Caught him. So. This is it. Life of bus life. And now we're about to jump on the interstate. Yeah. So come with us. So right now we decided to pull off on one of these overpasses um, just because we are conducting business while we travel and Dustin is waiting on a phone call. So we're taking this opportunity while we have good service to stop, stretch our legs, get some sun, and just kind of take it all in. Not much to see here, but it doesn't matter because it's beautiful out. When we were in yellow, we were in stocking caps and hooded sweatshirts and bundled up because it was freezing. And now we are in tank tops. And it's good. Alright, so as we're traveling through on our way to go back to Denver. I had Dustin stop in a town that I grew up in when I lived in Wyoming. I, I mentioned earlier that I lived in Wyoming for a short period of time, I think till the age of six or seven. And I've never been back here since we moved back in 93 or 94. And so it's all just kind of coming back to me. Uh, let me get my shoes. So, like I said, I've not been here for a long, long time. But that house right over there is where I grew up, on the corner. And this is the park that I used to play. I actually used to climb underneath that uh, banister area and catch salamanders. Um, that church I used to go to, they would have like crafts and stuff for us kids to do. And this is the highway where I was taught to make sure I look both ways before I cross the street. So this is really neat to, to actually come back to this town and really just remember what it was all about. We used to go to haunted houses over here for Halloween, they had haunted houses for us kids. So surreal. So many memories flooding back to me in this town. So I've not been back here since 93 or 94, and I remember a lot of this stuff like it was yesterday. And it's just, and uh, I just wanted to share that with you so you can learn a little bit more about me. All right, guys, we have made our destination. And this is where we will be sleeping tonight. Got the old girl up top. Got the love of my life. Where? <laughs> what more does a girl need? This is it. It's all you get for today. For today. For the weekend. For the weekend. For we're actually the, yeah, we're going it. to end this series. Yeah. The of this Yellowstone travel week series. Uh, it's been a it's been a week. Yeah. We hope that you guys have enjoyed this venture of ours. Sure. Coming with us with our first travel adventure in the new bus. Um, As you can tell, we're tired. We are tired. And uh, hope you learned a little bit more about us. Sure. As we got a little bit real and raw for you. So. And, and with that, let us know how we can help. Let us know if you need a video. Like, we do a lot of hiking. We do a lot of outdoor stuff. I'm not saying we're experts. No. But maybe we can make a video. I don't Absolutely. know. Let us know how we can help you. You're one of our followers, you're one of our friends, you're one of our family. You could be one of the road trip squad. That's you. All you gotta do is sign up. 
With that, we love you guys. We're grateful. Thank you so much. Spread love.